To build a oil well, we first need to locate a crude oil field. For that, we press M to open the map and we look for the oil drum. Then we bring a construction vehicle with 35 construction materials in it to the crude oil field. We then hop into the CV. We press a B to open the build menu and we come to the mining category. In the mining category, if we hover over the oil well, we can see that we indeed need a construction vehicle and 35 construction materials. To place it, we left click on the icon of the oil well that will place a blueprint underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation of our oil fields. Also underneath our mouse cursor, it will tell us that we are too close to the resource field, so we need to move away a bit. At the back of the oil well, we can see that there are two connection points for pipelines. The output point is to connect a pipeline to pump out crude oil, and that is available at the tier two upgrade for the oil well, which is the electric oil well. The input connection point for the pipeline is to input water into the oil well when you have upgraded it to tier three, which is the fracker upgrade, which also uses a water besides a power to generate crude oil. When we are happy with the orientation of our oil well, we left click that will put down a blueprint. We drive up to it with our CV and start hammering in the construction materials. Now that the oil well is ready, we can see that it immediately starts working. If we press E to open the menu of the oil well, we can see in the production panel, it takes 50 seconds and no power to produce one can of oil. Now, if we look in the right side, we can see the stockpile that currently has a one can of crude oil. We can see that it is not powered and we can see that there is an upgrade panel. And if we hover over the upgrade, we can see that the first upgrade is an electric oil well and the electric oil well will either speed up the production of one can of oil to 26 seconds at the use of two megawatts, or it can pump out 75 liters of crude oil every 40 seconds. For that, we need a 25 processed construction materials. To build a oil refinery, we need a construction vehicle and 50 construction materials. We hop into the CV by pressing Q. We press a B to open the build menu. We come to the facilities category. And if we hover over the oil refinery, we can see that we indeed need a construction vehicle and 50 construction materials. To place the oil refinery, we left click on the icon of the oil refinery. This will place the blueprint of the oil refinery underneath our mouse cursor. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can rotate the facility. We can see on the left side, there are two inputs to the oil refinery. One is for water for an upgraded recipe for petrol production. The other one is for crude oil. And there is one output and that output is used to output petrol. I want to have my input on the side of my oil well and the output roughly pointing towards our a diesel power plant over there. So if we're happy with our orientation and location of our oil refinery, we left click that will put down our oil refinery blueprint. We hold down the left mouse button and start building the oil refinery. Now that the oil refinery has been built, if we press E to open its menu, we can see that we have a one recipe. That recipe requires one megawatt and will produce 150 liters of petrol every two minutes and 30 seconds while using 150 liters of oil. In the status panel, we can see that we currently have a no power that could be either because we're not connected to a network or because our power station is not on yet. And we can also see that there is no oil in the stockpile.
In the upgrades panel, we can see that there are diff three different upgrades for our oil refinery. If we hover over them, we can see that there is the reformer, which will give us an extra recipe and that will turn 120 liters of oil and 30 liters of water into 150 liters of petrol. There is the cracking unit, which will turn 150 liters of oil into 90 liters of enriched oil. And the one that is not available as of yet is the petrochemical plant and that will use a 60 sulfur and 55 liters of enriched oil to make 30 liters of heavy oil. To start refining crude oil into petrol, we first need to retrieve crude oil from the oil well. We can do that on foot by coming close to the oil well, pressing E to open it and clicking on the oil in the stockpile. That will start assembling a can of oil into our backpack. The faster way is to do it either with a fuel tanker or with a normal truck and come up to the oil well, press E to open it and then shift click on the oil icon. Shift clicking will start assembling three cans of crude oil into the inventory of our truck. When we've taken all the oil from the oil well, we can come to our oil refinery. We press E to open our oil refinery menu. And if we now come to the inventory of our truck and right click on the oil icon and say submit all to stockpile, it doesn't do anything because this stockpile doesn't take oil. It is a tank that needs to be filled up. So either with a fuel tanker or by hand, because we don't have a fuel tanker on hand, we have to unfortunately do it by hand for now. So we grab some crude oil out of the truck. We press tab to open our inventory. We click on crude oil that will go into our equipment. We press a three to equip a can of crude oil. We aim at the oil refinery and hold down the left mouse button and start refueling the oil refinery. The recipe of the oil refinery uses 150 liters of crude oil to make into petrol. We put 300 in, which means that if we turn on the power right now, we will make six cans total of petrol. So we come to our diesel power plant. We press E to open it up and we turn it on. Now that our oil refinery is working, we can look in the recipe panel and we can see that the status bar is moving to the right. To automate our petrol production, we should upgrade our oil well. To upgrade your oil well, we press E to open the menu of the oil well. If we look in the upgrades panel, we can see that the electric oil well requires a 25 processed construction materials. Bring 25 construction materials and put them in the inventory of the oil well. Once it is in the inventory of the oil well, you can uh, left click the electric oil well upgrades button. And as you can see, we will start modifying the structure. When we are done modifying the structure, you can see the pipe connection for our crude oil outlet. And now if we grab a, a pipe, and we carry that pipe towards our oil well. We press a B to open our build menu and we come to the facilities category. If we select the pipeline, we get to blueprint of the pipeline underneath our mouse cursor. If we bring it close to the oil well, we can see that it snaps to the outlet. If we then a left click, we start dragging out our pipeline. And if we bring that pipeline close to the inlet of our oil refinery, we can see that it also snaps. And to connect both, we left click that will place our blueprint. We walk up with our pipe and a left click that will submit the pipe to the blueprint. And that will finalize the pipeline between our oil well and our oil refinery. We now come to our oil refinery and we press E to open it. We can see that the oil is not flowing in. And that is because if we come back to the oil well, we see in the electric oil well panel 
that both recipes need power. So we need to connect our diesel power plant with our electric oil well. We can start drawing power lines. So we connect power line to the power pole and to our oil well. We then grab another power line and connect both power poles. Now that we connected our electric oil well through power poles to our diesel power plant and we turn on our diesel power plant so that it is producing power, we can see that we're not using any power. That is because we haven't turned on the oil well recipe. So we come to the electric oil well and we take the second recipe that is going to produce 75 liters of oil. We click on the switch and we can see that we need two megawatts of power and we have two megawatts of power, which means that in a bit we should see the oil flooding into our oil refinery. And we can see that we are getting crude oil from our electric oil refinery. Now to make the circle complete, our best bet is to upgrade our diesel power plant to be a petrol power plant and then connect our oil refinery through a pipeline with our then petrol power plant. So to do that, we come to our diesel power plant, we press E to open it up. And if we come to the upgrades panel, we see that we need 100 construction materials to turn it into a petrol power plant. We have a hundred construction materials in the inventory of the diesel power plant and we just left click on the petrol power plant upgrade. This will start modifying the structure. As soon as we're done, we can see that our model changed. And if we now open our power plant, we can see that we have a second recipe. Now to connect our oil refinery with our power plant, we grab a pipe. We press a B to open our build menu and we come to the facilities category. We select the pipeline and we make it snap to the outlet of our oil refinery and we drag it out towards the inlet of our power plant. And if we click, we will get the blueprint, walk up to the blueprint and left click to submit the pipe. And now that that pipe is connected, we should start seeing the petrol flowing in eventually. As we can see now that the pipe connects both facilities that the petrol is flowing in. Once we have a sufficient amount of petrol, we can turn on the petrol power plant and start producing power with the petrol power plant. That will make a nice circle. So we make power with our petrol power plant. A power powers the electric oil well. The electric oil well pumps out crude oil to our oil refinery and the oil refinery with the help of power will turn out petrol, which will pump the petrol into the power plant. And we keep going like that. So we switch to petrol and we can see that our petrol recipe is working and that petrol is still coming in. To produce power and not rely on our petrol to do so, we can build a power station. A power station can be powered by crude oil. To build it, we press a B to open the build menu and we go to the power category. We then hover over the power station and we can see that we need a construction vehicle and that it costs a 20 processed construction materials and that it will give us two recipes. One recipe is for 15 liters of crude oil, we will get 10 megawatts of power for one minute and 30 seconds. The alternative recipe is 60 coal and 25 liters of water producing 10 megawatts for one minute and 30 seconds. To place a power station, we uh, left click on the icon for the power station and we can hold down the right mouse button and change the orientation of the building. We then have to fiddle to get it on the foundation where it actually can be built. And as soon as it turns yellow, that is the place where it can be built.
As we can see in the front of the building right now is a input. That input can be used to input oil or if you're using the coal recipe to input water. On the other side of the building is the connection for our power network. We want to aim our input for oil towards our oil well. We left click, this will place the blueprint, drive up to it and we hold down the left mouse button to put in the first couple of processed construction materials. Now that the power station is ready, if we come close to it and we press E, we can see that we have two recipes in the production panel. One is, as said earlier, the oil recipe. The other one is the coal recipe. In the stockpile, we can store coal, we can store sulfur, and we can store cokes. In the status panel, we can see that we're not producing any power right now and that the network we're connected to doesn't require power either. There is no water inside the power station and there is no oil inside the power station. Right now we just want to make sure that crude oil goes into the power station. So we need a pipe to connect a pipe. So we grab a pipe. We can see that we are now carrying a pipe. We press a B to open the build menu. We go towards the facilities category we select the pipeline we connect it to our electric oil well and we connect it to the input for the power station we left click that will put down the blueprint walk up to it and a left click to submit the pipe this isn't doing anything yet because we still need to power our electric oil well a normal oil well doesn't have enough pressure to pump oil in so we need to connect. Let's grab a power line and try connecting that to our oil well. Now our electric oil well can be turned on and as soon as there was enough oil in the power station to start powering the first recipe, which turns 50 liters into 10 megawatts for one minute and 30 seconds, it started that and now we have power, which means we can start connecting our power station with our electric oil wells. If we come to this power pole and we press E on the power pole, we can see in the status panel that we are producing 22 megawatts in the entire network and we're only using five megawatts. So now we can do what we set out to do. And that is we can turn off our petrol power plant and make sure that we save all the petrol inside the oil refinery. We can take away the pipeline over here. We press a one to equip our hammer, press F to go into upgrade mode. We aim at the pipeline. We press E to go into the menu for the pipeline and we come to the actions panel and select the demolish button and we confirm by clicking the demolish button in the prompt as well. This will take away the pipeline and it will drop the pipe that was used for the pipeline at the starting point. So we come up to that, press Shift E, select a dropped items and grab the pipe. We are now carrying a pipe and we can submit it to, for instance, the power plant. So we press a V and that will put it into the inventory of the power plant. If we now check our power pole again, we can see that we are producing 10 megawatts because we took away 12 from the petrol plant and we still are using five which should mean that we are now producing a way more petrol in this oil refinery. Now that we're not using our produced petrol to power the grid that is making more petrol, we can actually start thinking about a better way of storing our petrol than just the oil refinery. For that, we 
can use the liquid transfer station. So we press a B to open the build menu and we go to the facilities category. In the facilities category, we hover over the liquid transfer station. And if we do that, we can see that we need a 35 construction materials. Left click on the liquid transfer station. And if we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation. And if we look at the blueprint, we can see that there is a input point and an output point. We want to place our uh, liquid transfer station so that our input point is on the side of our oil refinery. We then uh, left click to place it, drive up to the blueprint, hold down the left mouse button and start building the liquid transfer station. And then we connect the input point with the output point of the oil refinery. So we press B, go to the pipeline, connect it to the input point and connect the input point with the output point of the oil refinery and submit our pipe to the pipeline blueprint. And now if we come to the liquid transfer station, over time we can see that petrol will be flowing into the liquid transfer station stockpile.